this is Freddy with Freddy Can Fly and in today's video we are going to be taking a look at uh, it's a bit of a tips and trick for you and it's more geared towards the AR7200BX system however if you're running into these issues um, just note that it might apply in other fly barless systems as well and this is going to involve doing the throttle calibration with the uh, Hobbywing ESC now in this video I'm going to be using a platinum 120 amp but it's the same on the 200 amp, on the 130, so forth and so on. The BSTEC system in particular has a bit of a safety design to where um, it takes a while to boot up and it goes through a certain series and a certain sequence to check every aspect of the system and then it initializes. That's a good thing. Um, the problem with that is um, in order to calibrate the uh, the throttle for the, 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 the Hobbywing ESC, is it has to see a high throttle um, stick position, so 100%, in order for it to trigger the throttle calibration menu. The communication between the two causes a conflict and you can't enter the menu. Now, there is a way to do this correctly, and that's what I wanna show you guys. Now, I'm gonna first show you what would happen if we don't do it correctly. That way, if you're running into any of these issues, hopefully this video will make a little bit more sense for you. Now, a couple of things we're going to need, okay, you're going to, of course, want a machine that, that's, that's ready to do these tests. shouldn't say that. It's pretty obvious. Um, the main flight pack. Now, take in mind, I'm running this whole system off of the built-in BEC of the Hobby Wing. So, as soon as I provide power here, this wants to see high throttle for throttle calibration. The B-Stex takes way too long, so it enters into like a, like a fail-safe kind of mode, and I'm going to demonstrate that for you. So, one thing you will need also is a separate little two cell receiver pack. And I'm just gonna, I'm gonna plug mine straight in because the BSTEX can handle up to eight volts and this is only gonna give it 7.4, which is what I run my BEC at anyways. So make sure you have a separate little pack that you can use if you wanna get fancy and install a switch, makes it easier, go for it. I'm just gonna plug directly in, okay? Um, and also, let's take a look at our radio here real fast. I'm gonna go ahead and power it on because there are going to be some settings that we're going to want to have in the radio to make sure we can do this test appropriately. So, what we're going to do is jump in. I've got my Tron 5.5 here. And we're going to come down to our throttle curve. Now, for the calibration of the ESC, what it wants is it wants to see a full throttle stick readout upon startup. So that should mean 100%. Um, and then also it's going to want to see a full 0% readout. So that's how it's going to calibrate the full range from 0 to 100. So you'll see here I've got a linear throttle curve. I'm in just normal mode. Um, let's go over here to normal. So you can see I've got 0, 25, 50, 75, 100. Okay. Make sure your throttle curve is linear. Um, also, just as safety precautions too at this point, it is nice to mention that you may not want to have the main blades on the machine just to avoid any uh, potential health risks in the event that it spools up or something on you. Okay, so make sure throttle curve is linear. 0, 25, 50, 75, 100. Once that's all done, of course at this point in time, guys, let's jump back over here real quick. Of course at this point in time, um, you should have everything bound up as well. You know, uh, I've got the beast X bound to my receiver to my radio. I do have all of my servos and stuff plugged in at this time. You do not have to though. Um, you could literally do this on the bench. You would just have to plug in your motor to your ESC and your ESC into your fly barless control system and you could do it outside of the heli if you wanted to, okay? So, uh, like we talked about, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna put your throttle stick all the way at the high position, 100%, and then you're going to provide power. And in theory, that should activate the throttle calibration within the ESC. Now, here's setup error number one. I've got everything plugged in. And I'm just going to go ahead and supply power to my main pack and show you what happens when the ESC does not see the 100% throttle because of the delay on the Beast X. Okay? So let me go ahead here. I'm going to raise my throttle stick to full. Okay, linear on my pitch curve, and here we go. I'm going to plug it in, and you'll see, like, let's let it do its little song and dance here. 
Now, now what we're supposed to have happen, right, is you're going to hear a series of beeps and tones. Um, first it counts the sales and this, so it's going to go dee 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 dee. But what we're looking for is a short three second pause and then the, the motor is going to go beep, beep. As soon as you hear the two beeps, you're supposed to lower down to zero on your throttle. It's going to do a beep, beep, beep. And that tells you that the throttle channel is calibrated. You'll notice this method here, you're not going to hear the, um, the completion of the calibration. Okay, so let's give it a try here real quick. I'm at full stick. Let me plug in. And it never entered in. We didn't hear the beep, beep. So what would happen at this point is my, uh, my ESC didn't even enter into calibration. And my B-Stex isn't... Oh, now it's initialized. Okay, so now the B-Stex system's ready. So you can see the delay there between the two. So if I now lower my throttle stick all the way down, you'll notice that the machine will now want to spool up if I give it, if I give it some, some, some throttle, right? Well, that's, that's not necessarily a bad thing, right? We know everything's working. However, the problem is, is it's not a calibrated throttle um, output. So we have no idea. If I go out and fly this right now, yeah, it might fly. But I'm not going to be getting the desired RPM. The governor's not going to be working correctly. Um, and I might, not even, I might not even get close to 100%. Or at the same time, it might think my 100% is 50%. I mean, I, I don't necessarily know all the science behind it. But we know that that's not correct, okay? So that's number one, okay? With this system and the delay that it has, if we plug our main power pack in and go through the BEC, it will not enter throttle calibration, okay? So what do we do from there? Well, the next step would be is we can provide power and power up the beast X first. Once it's fully initialized and receiving the proper throttle uh, signals from my radio, I can then provide power to the ESC and it'll sense that full throttle. And a lot of people make this mistake right here. And I'm going to show you what happens. So I'm going to go ahead and just plug in a two cell 7.4 pack into my system and I'm going to power it up first. Okay, so let me go ahead and plug that in. And I'm going to show you what happens when we do this is the second wrong way to do this. Okay, I just want to show you guys. So let me go ahead and plug this in. Now you'll notice it's going to power up my Beast X. And now we just have this annoying beeping sound. Right? So let's wait for the Beast X to fully uh, run its cycle here. Okay. So I'm getting a steady boop beep, boop beep. Right? Now if I try to go with full throttle stick, and I'm going to plug in my main pack now. Let's just see what happens. The, the beeping actually just gets louder, but let's give it a try. So yeah, nothing. So right now it's in another error mode. And what that is, let me go ahead and unplug here. What's happening right there is I have the BEC and everything activated because all I did was route my wires from here and plug them all straight into here. So in theory, again, I'm, I'm, I'm providing power to the Beast X system and through the Beast X system, it's still, you'll notice the fan turns on and everything over here. I'm still providing power to the ESC. And since the ESC recognizes no throttle signal at that point, it's going into that, uh, you know, beep, 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 beep. It's a little bit of a different sound than we've heard before. So that's also the second wrong way to do it. Now let's talk about the right way to uh, solve this problem. And this was always a headache for me guys in the younger years of, of, of the beast system. Um, and it took me so long to figure this out. And I know a lot of you probably know about this, but for those of you who don't, or, or you're on YouTube right now searching around, how the heck do I pair my hobby wing with my beast X? Boom, you're in the right place. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. Is I'm gonna go ahead and unplug um, both the double redundancy cable. Let's get rid of that for a second. That's just the, the, the red and black one. And then I'm going to unplug the ESC. That's going to be the red, black, and white. Now what I want to do here is I want to disable the BEC coming from the ESC. All I want is signal because I'm going to power that up here with the main pack. So all we need to do, it's really easy, 
uh, let me see if I can almost even get a little bit of a zoom here for you, is we just need to remove the red cable from the signal lead. That's going to be the black, red, and white. And all you guys got to do is just, I take a little exacto knife, very carefully, mind you, and all you got to really do is, is you just, you, it's got those little tabs on there. Just uh, lift up the tab ever so gently, and then just kind of pull the red cable out, okay? You can leave the black in, you can leave the white in. Let's see if we can get this out for you here on camera. Let me taking up too much of your time here. There we go. Oh, there we go. All right. Just be careful with it, guys. You don't want to cause any damage, of course. But so you can see here, if it wants to come out. There we go. Okay. So you can see here that I have removed just the red pin. So I still have white and black. So basically, ground and signal right that's still gonna go and it's gonna get plugged back in okay so let me plug that back into the machine I'm gonna leave the double redundancy cable out for right now or the or the, the secondary BEC I'm just gonna do the white signal um, and the black ground I'm gonna plug it right back into throttle and this is another thing guys I highly recommend doing this on the bench before you make everything clean and pretty because if you forget and you don't have all your stuff easily accessible like mine is on this heli. I mean, it's different on every on, uh, on every build, but on this one, I can just unplug and plug back in. Sometimes I have this turned around this way, and and it's a pain in the butt to get out. So I recommend doing this at the very beginning of everything, so you don't you don't forget later on. But anyways, red cables unplugged. Make sure it's safe and, and away from any exposure of touching or colliding with anything else, so we don't cause any like short circuits or anything like that. So, here's the correct way to do this. You're going to notice a completely different thing uh, at this point when we do this. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and plug in my, my two-cell pack. Let's get some power running through here. And you'll notice, okay, the beast is going to go through. It's going to do its little song and dance. Oh, and you know what? Actually, let me recycle my radio because it's not liking that. Sorry, sometimes when you let the, the radio idle for too long... There we go. Okay. So let me re re reset the radio. And let's go back. Let's plug this in. Right here. Okay. There we go. Alright. So I'm going to let it cycle through. You can see that the Beast X is doing its thing. Now basically all we've done is we've just disabled the BEC coming from here. So this is no longer giving power to there. Notice my fan did not turn on. Right? Before, every time we plug this in or plug this in, fan would turn on. So now the Beast X is fully initi uh, initialized and calibrated. It can now output to the, the Hobby Wing what, what our 100% range is. So, over here on the radio, we're going to go ahead and throttle all the way up. We're at 100%, okay? Now we're going to listen for the two beeps. What we're going to do is plug in our main power. And we're going to hear it go. It's going to do its couple of beeps, but it's going to go beep, beep. When it does that, you only have three seconds to throttle all the way down. Uh, if not, you gotta restart the calibration process, okay? So let's make sure we get this right. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug in. Boom, there it is. We now have a fully calibrated ESC with the BSTEC system. And that's how we patched through that. Now let's make sure that we, we did everything correctly. So I'm going to go ahead now and I'm going to unplug my main power. Okay. Let's get rid of our receiver pack. We no longer need this. We only need it for a second. So if you guys are big Beast X users, just make sure you keep that little two cell pack around here and there. Um, let's disconnect right here and let's, let's go ahead and reinstall the uh, BEC lead or the power lead, if you will, back into our connector. Make sure it's seated in there too. What I usually do is I'll, is I'll repress that tab down as hard as I can with my, with my fingernail or whatever. Okay, and then let's get throttle plugged back in. Boom. Now I'll go ahead and replug in my double redundancy cable as well. And everything's in safe and secure. Now, 
let's test and see how the throttle signal feels, or the throttle response, if you will, when we just plug in the main battery pack. And we know we plugged in everything right because ESC's working, fans working. Let's wait for the beast X here. Okay. So let's go ahead and try to throttle up and let's see how the motor how the motor spins. And yeah, it grabbed almost instantly too, so you can tell. Let's see if our throttle hold works. Yep, throttle hold works. That's a good bench test there. So you can tell that everything works because the motor now grabs instantly as soon as I start to throttle up, whereas before, when I just plugged it in, I was almost at full stick and then the motor would finally start to turn. So that is how you successfully calibrate the Hobby Wing ESC. Again, it's the same on all their models. If you have a system like the Beast X or the AR7200 where you have a delayed response, take in mind can be slightly annoying, but it is a great safety feature to have. It just avoids any potential hot startups or, or anything like that, especially when you're doing bench work. Let's go ahead and unplug this here. And after that, you guys, you, you never have to do it again. The throttle is successfully calibrated. You can now change your throttle curves, set up your governor, and it's going to follow that calibration to um, determine your head speed and your RPMs and your corrections and everything. So. Um, I really hope this video was helpful, guys. Any questions at all, please leave them down in the comments. I try to check them daily. Um, I will answer them eventually if, if I get too many, but feel free to ask. I'm always, I'm always happy to help. Um, and as always, my friends, remember, if Freddy can fly, so can you.